This video is a quick guide on how to use the BIOS flash button. Please note that this video applies only to motherboards who are equipped with this function. To verify whether or not your board supports this function, please refer to your motherboard's product specification page on us.msi.com. You will need a compatible motherboard, power supply, 8GB USB stick, and a computer with access to the internet. First, let's create the USB drive which will be used to flash the motherboard. Please note that the USB drive will need to be formatted so all files on the drive will be lost. We advise backing up all sensitive information on the drive if needed before continuing to the next step. With USB in hand, plug in the thumb drive into your working computer. Open up File Explorer and right-click on the drive. Then select the option to format. A formatting window will appear. Make sure that the file system is set to FAT32, then click Start. A pop-up will warn you that formatting the drive will erase all data on the disk. Go ahead and click OK to complete the process. Once the drive has been formatted, let's grab the BIOS file for the motherboard. To get the latest BIOS file for your board, please visit us.msi.com, select the search icon on the top right hand corner of the page, then type in your model number. Select the motherboard, then select the option for support. The drivers and downloads page will be shown, and the first BIOS file on the page is the latest released BIOS. Click on the download button, and a zipped BIOS file should be downloaded to your downloads folder. Open up the downloaded zip file and extract the contents. Once the contents have been extracted, you will rename the BIOS file itself. Please note that there are usually two files inside the folder and you will need to rename the non-text document. To rename the file, right click on the file and select rename. Delete the previous text and type in msi.rom in all caps as the new name of the file and hit enter. A pop-up window will alert you that changing the file name extension may cause the file to be unusable and will ask if you want to continue. Please select yes. Once the file has been renamed, drag the new msi.rom BIOS file into your freshly formatted USB drive. The next step is to set up your hardware to complete the process. Please note that you can complete the flashing process with the system completely built or with just the motherboard and power supply. As long as the 24-pin ATX power and 8-pin CPU power connectors are plugged in to your board, you can complete the BIOS flashing process. Please note that motherboards may have different BIOS flash button USB ports. Some boards may have the USB port outlined and distinguished, but you may always refer to the manual or product specification page to confirm which USB-A port is the correct port to plug your created USB into. Once you have confirmed the port, plug in the drive and flip the power supply into the on position. Press the BIOS flash button and you should notice a flashing red light indicating that the board has started the flash function. Please note that the red light will flash anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes, and if the light stops before then, the board did not complete the process. If your board did not complete the BIOS flashing process, Please check the USB drive and BIOS file, then try again. Once the BIOS flash has completed, the board should cycle off and you should be set. 